Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast at Tracy's and we are still in our series on race because there's always an other to love. Really racism is about love and how we love the people around us. And we are looking this week at the parable of the Good Samaritan and we're getting to that point where uh, the Samaritan saw the person laying on the, on the road and had compassion on him and then he crossed that racial barrier to go over to him and then this is what happens it says the Samaritan soothed his wounds with oil and wine and bandaged them then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him the next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins telling him take care of this man if his bill runs higher than this I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, I'm kind of curious actually about what happens after this story. What happens when the Samaritan gets home and has to explain to his wife and his children and his friends that he spent his traveling money or spent their savings on the enemy? You think he's going to be a hero? Not so sure. I don't know, but the the lesson here is if you want to cross racial barriers, it will cost you. I already talked about the fact that right now this is costing pastors their job. Talking about this issue is costing pastors their job and it's costing all kinds of people all kinds of things. It's costing people reputation, it's costing people in their comfort, uh, it's costing people in time, it's costing people friends. If you want to talk about Black Lives Matter, or you want to talk about Indigenous Lives Matter, no doubt there's going to be people upset with you and it will cost you to bring up this issue. No doubt Jesus didn't win an Emmy for this story. He probably made people mad. The fact that he made the hero of a story the racial enemy. How dare he? What was he thinking? This was not going to make popularity points. It cost Jesus. But to him, it was worth it because love is worth it. Reconciliation is worth it. Justice is worth it. And here's the tough question for you and the tough question for me. How much am I willing to let racial reconciliation cost me? It's a very real issue for me. It's a very real issue for you. Getting into this will not be without cost. It cost the Samaritan. It cost the Samaritan during the story. It probably cost him after this story. But it cost him. What are you willing to let it cost you? That's the question. And for me. Let's pray. Lord, we know that we are to have the attitude of servants. To be generous to be worshipers, willing to give up everything for you. But Lord, getting into this, getting into racial divides, for some people the cost is just, they feel it's just too high. Lord, break that lie down. Break it down. Crush it. May that lie not be found in our church or in the church. May we be the first to bridge that gap. And to let it cost us. To be willing to let it cost us. Just as Jesus was willing to let it cost his reputation. And eventually his life. Lord, help us to follow your example. To not be afraid of the cost. But to know that reconciliation, justice, and love are all worth the price. We pray this in the name of our Savior Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I know that you, just like I, have some things to work out with God at this point. How much are we willing to let it cost us? May the Lord speak to you and encourage you today. Take care.